Hey guys, Carl Cooper here with OnTheBlack.com with uh, Joe Janice of Mets Today and Dave Doyle of Mets Report. And we want to talk about the Mets infield right now. Uh, let's start off with the catching situation. In my opinion, it seems like the Mets weren't happy with the catching situation last year because they went out this offseason. They've got two new uh, guys behind the plate. And Joe, being the former catcher, let's, uh, I want to hear your thoughts on those guys. Yeah, you know, I definitely was unhappy with the idea of Omir Santos coming back. Not because I don't like Omir Santos, but I just didn't see him as a starting catcher. I see him as a backup guy. So they definitely did need to address the situation. Um, how it was addressed is a little bit disappointing, to say the least. Uh, you know, the Mets have a strong stable of backup catchers now. You know, Rod Barajas is a backup catcher. Henry Blanco is a backup catcher. Chris Coast, you know, even Josh Tolley. These are all backup catchers at this point in their careers. So I'm a little disappointed, and I'm not sure how this is going to affect the team overall. And uh, Dave? Well, there aren't that many great catchers out there to start with, but uh, I, I think that by the end of the year, we're going to see a different catching situation, I would guess, than we're seeing on opening day. Uh, I, I was an advocate in the off season of just going with Josh Tolley and, um, and Omir Santos and see how it works out. And to be honest, I, I wouldn't be surprised if in September that is what the Mets' catching, catching situation is. Were you guys disappointed that the Mets didn't get Benji Molina? No, you know, like, like Dave uh, referred to, there really aren't that many really good catchers available, and he probably was going to cost too much. You know, I wouldn't want to give him a two-year deal. I, you know, like Dave said, I, I think you play it by ear and see what happens during the season, see who becomes available towards the end of the season, and look towards next year for your catching situation. Dave? Uh, I was a little surprised that they didn't end up with him, but I, I, would, I would definitely not give him more than one year either. Uh, let's turn our attention to the right side of the infield, uh, specifically Daniel Murphy and Luis Castillo. And uh, forget about the offensive side of things for a minute. Let's talk about defensively. Uh, there are concerns from many people out there in terms of the range, and will those guys be able to cover the uh, right side of the infield? Just want to get your thoughts on that. And, Dave, I'll start with you first. Okay. Um, I, this is a, an area, a big pet peeve of mine. I'm not a fan of either Luis Castillo, as many uh, Mets fans are not. And uh, I, I think that defensively, there, it's going to be a big problem over there this year. And, uh, and I think that Luis Castillo is going to continue to decline as he gets older. And the Mets are stuck with him for two more years now. Uh, if they don't just dump him or trade him and eat the salary, and Daniel Murphy is just can't hit enough to play first base. Hey Joe, yeah, unfortunately, I agree with Dave on the, on those points. Um, you know, you'd be okay with the defense on the on the right side of the infield if if you knew you were going to get a lot of offense. Uh, Dan Murphy is. I don't care what those stats say about his range factor or anything else he's he's not a good defensive first baseman from what we saw last year if he improves mm -hmm. fantastic but what's he going to improve to an average first baseman I mean that's not going to be enough for the offense that he's probably going to provide and and again if, if, if you're getting you know 350 hitting from Luis Castillo and and uh you know 30 home runs a year from Dan Murphy then it's acceptable but I don't think we're going to see those numbers so defensively yeah I'm not not happy well, there you have it, guys. Uh, let us know what you think about the Mets catching situation and the right side of the infield. And talk to you guys soon.